My name is Wuti Pong Da Som, Ruben Thomas Lane. I play the two and three position occasionally, and I play for High Tech Bangkok City. Yeah, too strong. Dawson, offensive rebound. Nice, strong take. I was born in uh, Karachi, Pakistan, and I moved to Thailand when I was around three, four months old. I didn't come to Bangkok until I was 17. Before that, I was in provinces all around Thailand. My parents loved to move. They loved to just go to new places, explore. So I was in probably almost all the different provinces in Thailand before Bangkok. Before basketball, I played four or five different sports. I just played anything that I could, uh, soccer and all that. But one day I was playing soccer beside the basketball court and at that time I was, I think I was 15 and one of my seniors who played soccer too, he went to the basketball court and brought me over. And I started playing then and after that I sort of just gradually kept playing. It was fun, it was interesting. I learned something new every day. Basketball is a sport that uses your mentality as much as it does your agility and your physical. No one really encouraged me. No one really said, go play basketball. I sort of just played every day and then sort of, I just liked the sport. And then people would say, hey, you good at this, you can do this, maybe improve in this. So yeah, but when I started getting, uh, when I got to 17, 16, and people started saying that I had this one guy who played for the youth national team of Thailand. He was from the same province that I was staying in. So he said, you know, maybe you should take up basketball. You know, it can, it can help you a lot. And it, it looks like it's a good pathway for you. So I got on the national team for the first time when I was 19, the 2011 SEA Games were held in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. And then after that, I got my degree on the national team. So the clubs in Thailand, started asking for me and you know wanting to sign me and that but uh, I chose uh, this club and uh, yeah that's when I first signed and started playing. My basketball idol growing up everyone likes Michael Jordan. <laughs> Here is Michael the head fake on Garnett over him into the lane. I was growing up I probably tried to watch Michael Jordan because I didn't know basketball and everyone said he was the best so I started watching him and uh, you know, just seeing what I could copy and what I could work on that would sort of improve. So I worked on my jump shooting mid-range and that became really good. Playing basketball, I was always jump rope, squats, running, always trying to jump farther and farther and farther because it was fun. And then when I started playing basketball, I could dunk right away. And then I started watching all these moves in, in the NBA and stuff, and I started trying them. And uh, that's when people say, hey, maybe you should go to a dunk contest. You win this, you win that. So I started off in the provinces that I played at, and then I won the three years running. So everyone knew I could dunk now. And uh, the, my first international dunk contest was in the ABL. Now, Woody Bang Dawson, I didn't know he could get up. He's... Oh, he does a First, I always wanted to dunk in a game because it motivates the team, it gets people into it, it gets the crowd into it, everyone loves a good dunk, everyone loves it, all that. But then when I gradually started dunking easily in games, I, I started, everyone said, no, nah, man, you should dunk on someone. You should definitely dunk on someone, get an and one and all that. So now, now I'm looking to get that, especially in the ABL because all these big men in the ABL, they're all so intimidating that. So that's my highest goal right now, to try dunk on a big man get a foul, get an and one, that's, that's definitely the biggest goal right now. Now the Asian Basketball League is a very good opportunity because for Southeast Asian players, normally the max you can get is a national team. National team and maybe regional games, regional games and all that, but it doesn't give you the experience and the opportunity that you might have with ABL. So right now, with the ABL all around Southeast Asia, it gives young players that, that dream to go further, that opportunity to say, oh, I'm at this level, but I still have the ABL. I can still go to the ABL. And with the ABL, there are coaches from the States, 
players imports that you know might have contacts overseas so that gives people the dream if they really want to they can come and play in the ABL and if they have that dream still they continue to work 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 and then maybe they can go overseas which is what every basketball player dream is to play in the leagues overseas.